Hey, Montero. I don't see it with him. I figured that we would be divided on him. Divided uh, is divided is probably uh, a nice word. I don't think he's draftable. <laughs> NBA draft. Dot net, have to... You have him eleventh. NBA Draft. Yeah. Net has him at fifty five on their big board right now, and I actually agree with their player comp for him, Luther Head. So I think that fifty five is absolutely ridiculous, and if you look at other sites, which I try to avoid a ton of other sites, but if you look at other sites, he's much higher on most other uh, sites. So I think like even like uh, No Ceilings, I think had him in the lottery. Uh, Bleacher Report, I think has him in the lottery, or at least at one point did. Yahoo, I think had him in the lottery. He was for sure in the first round of their uh, see it. Uh, so anyway, a lot of the other ESPN, I think still has him as a first rounder. So I don't think that, actually, I think ESPN has him pretty high. Um, I think maybe even higher than me. So I don't think you can just do you know NBA draft.net as your reason that he's not draftable. No, here's here's my real reason. Here's my real reason he's not draftable. He hasn't played anyone this year that is even remotely an NBA caliber athlete. And what I'm seeing is he's not blowing away the competition in a way you would expect a guy like that to blow it away. He is a guy with actual high level supposedly high-level pro experience with ACB League, played for Grand Canaria. This should be a guy that is getting uh, – he should be feasting in ways he's not really in the overtime elite I mean, group. every game that I've watched of the overtime elite, which is not a ton because their production is atrocious. Yes, it is. Um, so – uh, it, you almost can't. From you the, almost the, can't tell what's going on with the games from their camera angles. I will say that. Well, I'm just talking about like the announcers are just devastating. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I would say that if you're someone who likes, who needs a point guard, here's the problem: point guards in this class, Jaden Ivey, is about the only for sure thing. And I'm not sure he's Gene, a point guard. Gene at least looks like a real NBA level point guard, even though it's against subpar competition. He looks like a real NBA level point guard. If you consider current ish Smith, an NBA level point guard. Oh, come on. So I think that he's probably about a deer and Fox level guy. So normally. Okay. Did you just compare this dude to a 20 point a game scorer. Yes. There's I think no, he will way. Get there. no way. So, see, that's where we're, we, we differ. When he was playing in the junior leagues, Gene was dominant. When he was uh, in the junior leagues at the ACB, when he played Nike EYBL, he was dominant. When he uh, has played the overtime elite, he's dominant. So, I don't think you can say that he won't be a 20 point per game scorer in the NBA. Now, he might not. He might not. I, I, I am comparing him to a De'Aaron Fox or like a Dennis Schroeder, somewhere in that mold. I'm not saying he's ever going to be an all-star. I'm not going to say that. This class is not super deep. It's not super strong. And especially at point guard, it is not super strong. So that's where I have Gene. Uh, I know that you completely disagree that he could ever be an NBA player. Uh, so uh, obviously uh, – he, he can be an NBA player. I mean – Someone gave DJ Augustine a contract this year. <laughs> he can be 